Hello everyone, I'm Tjinter and welcome to Will You Press the Button? Now, this website, as far as I'm aware, it gives you a good thing, but on the other hand there is something bad that comes with it. And you've got to decide whether it's worth pressing that button to get the good thing. Okay, you're allowed to have as many children as you please with no faults. But every time you do, someone else you know dies. I will not, I do not want kids. I am apparently um not in the uh, majority on this one. Okay. John Lennon comes back. But One Direction surpasses the Beatles as the best selling band ever. No! No, 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 no we've, had, we've had enough of them. You will live forever, but no one else will be able to live forever like you. Oh! That's, that's the curse of immortality right there. Watching everyone you know and love around you growing up and getting old and dying. I think mortality is much much preferable in that situation. So basically the Doctor without all the adventures. Yeah. Half-Life 3 will be released. Ooh. Whoever plays the game till the end dies. Guys, I'm sorry to say this to you, but I think it's about time. I don't think Half-Life 3 is ever going to happen. I'm sorry. I just don't. So. You can fly. You can never touch the ground again. Hell yeah! I'd hover everywhere! Who wouldn't want to be able to fly? I mean, I'm scared of heights, but even I would like. You can, I can still hover above the ground. I don't need to touch it. That'd be awesome! I wouldn't have to do this for any sort of transportation costs or anything. Hell yeah! Technically speaking, nothing ever touched anything. There is always a minute amount of space between atoms, so I'm already flying. <laughs> you got a point there, dude. You become incredibly popular and liked in your workplace. Everybody gets your name 100% wrong 100% of the time. So basically, you're going around your workplace, it's just like, Oi! Jody! Sam! Thingy! Awesome person! Um, honestly, I would much rather have a happier workplace than somebody knowing my name if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be honest here. So yeah. I don't care. Oh, poor Zion, that already happens. Oh, You can live in the world of the video game of your choice. Ooh. But if you lose, you die. What about games where there isn't a death possible? Oh, there isn't a death mechanic. Oh. Screw it, I'm pressing that. Living in a video game would be awesome as long as I wasn't um, one of the NPCs in one of the Doom villages, but yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> Oh my god, like Sword Art Online. No! It's happened before! You die in the game, you die in real life. Oh, come on! You can restart your life from any point in time with the brain you have now. It will take you a month to regain your reflexes and whatnot. Also, you are that age in what time you go back. Example. You can't go further back than when you were born. I've actually thought about this um, before and I think that would be amazing to do is have a clean start at your, start at your age, knowing everything you already know in your life and doing starting from a point way ahead of everyone around you, frankly. You would be like considered like the smartest damn baby the world has ever seen. And the thing is, you already know enough. You already know so much. I mean, I, I, I can get being in school would be tedious as all hell. Just people try to teach you what you already know, but just think of all the things you could do over your life with new knowledge that you have. 
Think of all the mistakes you could flip and avoid as a kid. That would be awesome! Hell yes, I'd do that. You can have anything you want, but you have to climb Mount Everest every time you want it to come true. I think I would want to suppress that. I mean, what I would want is to just live a nice, happy life with the person I love. And the way things this economy is, I'm not gonna, I'm sorry about it yet. The way these things are with this economy is that I can't imagine how long that will take. But if I could just do is climb a mountain to get that, I would be doing is jogging up that mountain as fast as I could. So, yeah, definitely. <laughs> First to go, what is the ability to climb any mountain up within an hour? That is a great thought, Andrew. That sounds brilliant. Okay, you've got to climb it once, but then every time you climb it afterwards. Yeah, that's that's a lot. That's, that's really smart thinking. You have the ability to travel back into time to any time in the past. Everyone you know and love will no longer know who you are. Rule applies to all time periods. Oh! No, no, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. The people around me are the only thing, I'm not gonna lie, that have actually kept me alive most of the time. I would never do his pick. Just going back for like, some sort of materialistic reason or whatever. To have everybody I know and love forget me. I couldn't do that. Apparently most other people couldn't too. Yeah. Yeah, it would it, it would bring mm, would it bring up a paradox cuz then your parents wouldn't even know you'd be born later if you went further back and they wouldn't even know you were their baby. Thus ruining the reality you created, thus stopping your chance to go back. That's a very good thought. Hmm. The person you love falls deeply in love with you, but you are no longer able to eat chocolate. I don't see a fail on this. The person you love loves you, and you're not going to do is get diabetes later in life and become a fat thing like me. I do not see a downside to this. Hell yeah. I hate chocolate anyways. See? Most people agree with me on this one. Look. You get the ideal body you've always wanted. Ooh. But you'll die 20 years earlier, but you don't know when you're gonna die. So you could press that, and you might not even have 20 years left to live, and it'd just live and just be an instant death. Sure, you'd have a pretty corpse. But it's still been step. Ooh. I can just go to the gym more often. That's a great idea, but it says you will die 20 years old. It doesn't it doesn't say that you'll be able to advance your lifespan up after that. Ooh. You can fix the world by curing AIDS, cancer, fixing world hunger and homelessness, etc. Die in six hours and receive no credit for your sacrifice. I'd press it. I know that there's some. I know that somebody at, when when they probably watch this will be furious that I'm going to press the button because I'm very lucky with who I have in my life, but. I would rather not see anybody suffer. I mean, I, I've i seen people die of cancer. And I've seen the homeless around. And I wouldn't wish that life on anyone. The question is, would it be a permanent fix? Or would things just get worse? I'll press it. 
I'm a self-made asshole and proud of it. Yes, you are, Thomas. <laughs> Great comment. Ooh. Plus, I'll try and make those the best six hours I've ever had. You become a vampire with immortality and super strength. You sparkle in daylight. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. I'm a let's player. I don't go outside, really. Plus, imagine the amount of money you could save on like party sparkle glitter makeups and stuff. That'd be awesome. You could like bottle your sweat up and sell it to teenage girls. I know that's disgusting, but but think of it. Easy money. You don't even have to go outside. Oh, question is, are we a vampire that can do is make other vampires, or are we just alone with immortality? Ooh. Right. Sparkles, here I come. Fifty-eight percent of people pressed it. That was actually a pretty hard split there. You can read, write, and speak in any language. But no one wants to read or listen to what you have to say unless you speak in the language you were originally taught. No! What would be the point then in having all the other languages? Sure, you could read their literature and everything, but everything you write, no one would want to know about, and no one would actually have any interest in anything you say. You could go to one of these countries, you have all these languages for, and you could do something as simple as asking for directions, and nobody would give a damn, and you'd be just stuck. It's the same as not having the language in the first place, pretty much. That was a pretty That was a pretty even split once again During the zombie apocalypse You are given free guns or weapons That will guarantee your survival during this apocalypse One of the weapons or guns Will be the cause of your death But you don't know how and when He's saying it will guarantee my survival. But, so, the apocalypse is over and I just get shot in the head? No, I'll, I'll, I'll find another weapon. I'll find a s stick and make it pointy. Free fire, be invincible, and get ten billion dollars. Your family, friends, and old lovers will die in front of you in horrible ways over the next year, and you will step on a leg every. No, hell no, no! I'm not sacrificing my family for awesomeness. I'm already awesome. I don't need it. First comment: Calm down, Satan. You are invincible. But everything you touch dies. I am not going to become rogue. Wait, you could wear gloves every day, but the gloves will die. So if you touch the ground, the earth dies. And you touch the air, all sources of air dies. And you touch outer space, the universe dies. Oh, <laughs> oh no, no. You can have sex with anyone you want. But your family has to watch. Hell no! No, 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 no. You have the ability to teleport. Yes! Because of this, the whole world will be after you. You will live as a fugitive for the rest of your life. I, w I think I'm going to take the bus. You have the highest IQ in the world. Your parents have to watch you have sex. No. You 
you will fly. You're in a huge wet you whenever you fly. No! No! What is going on now? There's tons of like awesome yeses and now it's all pain, pain, death, pain. What? You can be the sexiest person alive. You can never get laid. about a sexy that might be able to get me a job that gives me money that gives me stuff that I like however no dinglinging what's the point of becoming sexy without the sex no no I'll just work out All the asexuals are romantics cackling as they push the button. <laughs> yeah. You become godlike and can do anything you please with no drawbacks. But you will live forever, no matter what, even after humanity dies out. You can become godlike and do anything you please with no drawbacks so I could technically create a whole nother universe with everyone I love who are also immortal no disease no one or anything and humanity dies out but but these people will no longer be human they are now immortals living the life as they please hell yes See? First comment! You have uber fast internet connection. Hmm. Internet Explorer is your browser and you can't change it. No. Agreed. Then what is the point? You will be handsome. Only ugly girls are handsome. Guy. Oh, the ugly girls or handsome guys like you. But I will be handsome and I am a girl. Are we talking Squidward handsome or the handsome of your choice here? Because I'm a girl and the idea of handsome guys liking me. I can't see a problem with that. Plus, it'd be nice to be handsome. Yeah! I've seen it. Win win for gay men. <laughs> Works for me. Yeah, can't disagree with those. You'll be more happy and smile more often. But you'll have to watch My Little Pony, Frenchie and Magic, and become a brony. No, 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 no. Wait. There's more ways than watching that to become happy. I think I can do without. You become famous. Hmm. But you also become the most hated person in the world. So you become infamous. No, I don't know. So I just so I become Justin Bieber. <laughs> you have to eat your live snake? Aw, oh, poor snake. But is genetically modified to taste exactly like chocolate or peanut butter or gummy worms. No! I'm not gonna do is take out such a beautiful creature as a chalky snake. No, leave the chalky snake alone. That was a bad one. You can get concert tickets to anything you want. You have to sit in the crappiest, farthest seat away from the stage. Free concerts! Who cares? Well, 
Well, I think that's a, I think that's enough questions for today. I know this is my typical kind of video, but I'm hoping you like it either way. If you do, feel free to just press the like button. Otherwise, don't. Anyway, I'll see you drinking syrups, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.